we had a few questions about some of the machinery we are using in, in the workshop to, to build our rockets. So I just want to take you inside and, and show you one of the machines that Owen is currently working with. So. So here in the far end of the workshop, Ohne, um, it looks nice and shiny. I guess it's a rocket pod? It is. Okay. So it's, what are we looking at? It's uh, the adapter, the collar, where the, the nose cone meets uh, the rest of the rocket. So it's, uh, it's sitting up in the top of the rocket. Uh, if we look at this nice big drawing here, it's this part up here where uh, you have the, the nose cone and you have this mating flange uh, sitting up here that connects to the, to the parachute uh, bucket that we... So this will sit somewhat like uh, this? Actually, upside down. Fair. This one is upside down at the moment. Okay, okay. I yeah. didn't see. Sorry. No. <laughs> uh, okay. Because I need to do some milling on the inside of it. Speaking of milling, uh, the machinery here. It's uh, a, de a Deckel FP2. It's a very, very old machine. My best guess is that it's somewhere from around the 60s, perhaps even uh, early or late uh, 50s. But it's a uh, it's very, very good machine still. Hardly any uh, backlash or anything in it. Mm -hmm. uh, and thanks to the nice digital readout that we have on it, we can actually produce uh, parts with very good accuracy. And as you can see, we have a, a rotating table here and we have a rotating head for it as well. Uh, so we can do uh, quite advanced uh, parts, even for a, a, a manual uh, milling machine. Mm, and it has all sorts of, of two interfaces, it, both It has a, a horizontal axis and a, a vertical axis that can be tilted. Mm. Uh, and then you can uh, you can, ah, it's locked at the moment, but you can, you can lower the quill on it as well okay. uh, if you need to do uh, really precise drilling. Mm. Uh, so, well, if this is really old school machinery, someone is probably going to ask, so is it CNC? Manual CNC! <laughs> you, can, uh, you can turn the handles and you can uh, control it that way uh, with, uh, with a digital readout. Mm. Uh, but we don't have any CNC working CNC machines in the workshop at the moment. Can you make it, uh, can you make it uh, turn over and make a sound or something? Yeah, I can. Uh, let me just check what... Just, just want to hear what old school sounds like. What old school sounds like, okay. That's the sound of old school getting in gear. And that's the sound of old school turning. Hmm. All right. And at the moment, because I'm setting up to align this one uh, with the x-axis, uh, I don't want to move the axis if uh, if it's okay. Okay. So in a in a few in a few evenings it'll be all done and ready yeah. for installation. Yeah. I think it'll be one or two evenings more. Okay. Then uh, then all the radial holes uh, will have been drilled and uh, the last uh, slot down here will have been milled. All right. All right. Well, uh, thanks very much for the insight. Yes. More than welcome. So this is, uh, this is one of the machines uh, we have in our workshop. We'll probably get around to the rest of them as well.